Welcome to Hip Hop Live. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's good? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Are you bro? fine? I'm nice. Tell me because there we are, bro. Okay, yo, this is Mahuta, uh, 16 bars reloaded columnist. Yeah. Uh, UJFM. So you are a kind of daughter, then? Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. it's just a fancy way of saying it. Oh. It's a columnist. Oh. <laughs> you know, you know. Basically, what do you do like that? Uh, something about the world. Okay, basically, I write about hip hop. Anything hip hop. Anything uh, like from articles about what I think. Yeah. Basically, I just share my opinion on hip hop for season bash. But since you know that uh, I do a hip hop show, so, yeah. that you know, I'm very deep on like, local hip hop because you play like 95% local hip hop. Talking about, uh, talking about uh, articles, your dope article of uh, Colum. Uh, you can check it out on my blog. Uh, it's actually called The Making of the Album. It's actually a series, yeah, because uh, there's like three parts of it. Just tell my viewers there, bro, like, they really appreciate that. Okay, so basically, uh, the making of the album is about how a dope album uh, should be structured. So, the first article talks about the intro, which is like the first part of the album and stuff, and then it's like the body of the work, and then it's the outro, which is the latter part, but, like how everything should be in sync for the album to be like, uh, basically dope. Earlier on, you mentioned something about the pre-orders, actually, artists selling, selling us something you don't even know. Yeah, 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 about that, because I, I actually feel like uh, you're selling me something which I have never heard, heard of before. it, and then after I've bought it, yeah. you now go on and say loss about how people have bought your stuff. That time, it's not even good sometimes. Exactly, it doesn't, it doesn't reflect on the quality of the music, yeah. because people buy it because of the marketing, Name, the name, brand, yeah. and everything, all that stuff. So I, I feel like this whole pre-order stuff, yeah. it's, it's it's good for business. Actually, business. it shows that artists doesn't trust themselves. Again. Exactly. Yeah. Because for me, I feel like you know, if I'm a rapper and then uh, I'm selling you an album, if it's quality, even if I play you the whole album, the whole album. I let you stream it, if it's quality, you still gonna go out there and buy it. You know? So I just feel like you, you, if you not giving us an opportunity to hear yeah. anything from it, is you to just... judge you first that you are... Exactly. Is you not having trust in your own music that people can still buy your stuff even after they lost it. I find it I about you. <laughs> <laughs> not taking shows though. Yeah, yeah no shows taken. So, no, we talked no based on oh, cuts part thing. Feed up the door. What do you think? Yo, yo, uh... Are you going anyway? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. So, when you want to get that album too? I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, probably gonna have yeah. the album. Well, I don't have a choice, right? Yeah. See, also, that's another thing. You only hear one track, Mama, I made it. Exactly. You know? Which also, I, I, I reserve my feelings yeah. towards the song. Yeah. But anyway, the whole concept of Fill Up the Door, I really feel like it's, it's, it's a dope concept, it's a dope initiative for the yeah. SA Hip Hop. It's showing how much growth SA Hip Hop has had. But then, also, one thing I would have liked is for it to be strictly hip hop. Yeah. To show how big the hip hop, how yeah, like how big of a crowd it is. Because now you don't know, maybe someone is there to watch black hole. Oh, so black hole is coming. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, black hole is not doing hip hop. Yeah. yeah, so I heard rumors about that, and then there's some confirmations coming. Mm -hmm. So the new thing, uh, black hole thing is about. Well, <laughs> there's that also. Yeah. But then uh, I don't think it's that. Bad. It, it, it seems to, it seems petty. But I don't think it's that petty. You know? He's like, trying to get house hate and hip hop hate. Exactly. Same which, house. which now it's good for, uh, for like mixing uh, the, the genres, uniting the genres. But then it's not good for showcasing the hip hop because like, like back to the city. Yeah, you yeah. know that the crowd oh, is there yeah. for hip hop. hip hop. You get to see how much of an effect hip hop has. Yeah. Yo, SA, let's go to the break. Mahuta, Ili, we'll be back. No.
Yo, Mzanzi, back from the brook! Back, baby. We're still good. Yeah, we're still good, we're still good. Yeah, we're still touching base on the trust my youth. How do you think about his second album? Uh, uh, just for the DJ. Don't to be do, don't yeah. sell gold. Personally, I feel like it's gonna do the numbers. Yeah. It's gonna do crazy numbers. It's gonna do 20,000 if he feels up to him, first of all. I hope it's that. And also, I feel like he has uh, the crowd behind him. He's, he's, he's the golden boy of hip hop right Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, talking about numbers. Does it mean having a lot of numbers make you the dopest MC in SA or nah nah? Because most check out especially uh oh, song of the year. That's what you talk about earlier. Yeah. Oh yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly, because it's like those things, it's 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 basically popularity. Yo, those kind yeah. of things. Because, Doesn't mean you are yeah, dope when you have song. Because, because right now, it's but like I'm making an example for you. At some point, uh Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy was one of the biggest artists. Hey, at some point, two chains was one of the biggest. Yeah. You know, like right now, Future is doing this thing. Also in America, yeah. you know, Casper uh, is doing this thing. Yeah, Ega yeah, is doing yeah. this thing. You know, but when you really go and compare lyricism, compare with people like Pro Reason, oh, Gingerbread Joe. Man, you know, like you see a uh, like huge thing. Because like, don't just show this album, you know? Yeah. You listen to that album, you're like, yeah, yo, yeah. this is a real MC. MC, you know? But, but you go into a crowd of 20, probably like two even like two, two, you know? They tell you about fuck, bro. They're, they're yeah. like, yo, the Casper song, yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. Like, it, it's, and, and also this thing of working on the same thing. Because I feel like we're being fed the same kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's like, oh, it worked. It worked before like for someone else. Let me. Let me yeah. do that. Actually, funny enough, actually, I have an article which I just finished yesterday. Yeah. Talking about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is coming up like probably like next week. Next week, yeah. Yeah. Where I go in like in depth about that whole same kind of formula being yeah, used yeah. over and over again. People being comfortable where they are. You know, yeah. they're not being innovative and stuff. Yo, we actually don't have the whole. Two hours or five hours. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish I we can have a, our own show to me and you the whole day. Exactly. Talk about the talk about yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, where can close. people catch you? Twitter, Facebook, or WhatsApp? Okay, catch me on Twitter, yeah. Mahuta11, catch me on Facebook, Kelvin Mahuta Simamane, and then catch us uh, on our 16 Bars Reloaded blog, 16 Bars Reloaded.tumblr.com. Okay. That's where you're going to see a lot of articles, the ones that I post. But And I'm very interactive on Twitter. Okay. Like, yo, hit me up with all those things you want to discuss yeah. on the hip hop. I mean, yeah. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you know it. SA, I'm out. Peace. Shop, shop.